Do looks matter at work? Should you even care about your physical appearance? Is it worth it to take the time to get ready in the morning before you go to the office? We're going to answer all of those questions in this video so you can be more successful at work. And if you want more career tips just like this, make sure you click subscribe down below and drop a like on this video so we know if it's helpful or not. So should you care about your physical appearance at work and is it even worth the time to put on makeup and get ready in the morning before you head into the office? Basically the answer is yes. So if you don't want to know the science and the reasoning behind it, you can actually just skip this video right now and go watch one of my other videos. But if you are interested as to why it actually matters, I'm going to be explaining that right now. So in summary, if you really want to increase your chances of getting a higher performance rating at work or you want to increase your chances of passing an interview and getting more job offers, you should care about your physical appearance at work. And there's basically three reasons why. The first is the halo effect. The second is appearance discrimination. And the third is appearance bias. So what is the halo effect? Well, this is actually a scientifically proven term coined by Edward Thorndike back in 1920. And his research basically said that more attractive people are generally perceived to have other attractive or positive qualities purely based on their physical appearance. Or in other words, attractive people tend to be generally rated higher on positive traits, even without talking to them. Now, there are tons of research articles and studies that actually prove that the halo effect does exist in the workplace. So what this also means is that managers sometimes tend to favor people who are generally more attractive or more physically attractive people tend to have better performance ratings and scores. This is mainly due to the fact that managers or upper management may sometimes overrate somebody purely based on a perception of one single characteristic. And in this case, that characteristic tends to be someone's physical appearance. The second reason your physical appearance actually matters at work is due to appearance bias. The research around appearance bias basically states that good looking or taller people subconsciously get treated differently due to how their appearance is perceived, thus increasing or creating some type of bias. And unfortunately, this does transfer over into the hiring and interview process where generally more attractive people have been proven to start off on a much higher level of perception when it comes to interviewing and evaluating candidates. And of course, this translates when it comes to managing people and having performance reviews in the workplace, where generally managers will subconsciously or unconsciously favor the more attractive people on their team. And now lastly, appearance discrimination is the last reason why you should actually care about how you look at work. Appearance discrimination basically implies everything that we covered already in this video, but in the opposite form, where if you are perceived to be less physically attractive at work, it may actually hurt your overall performance. Or put another way, appearance discrimination implies that some people are treated differently purely based on their physical appearance and their look as opposed to their actual performance in the job. Now, unfortunately, I have seen all three of these aspects actually play out at work and I've worked at two Fortune 500 companies. So I can tell you that all of these things are real and they do exist. And this is something that you need to be aware of every single time that you show up to work. I have seen people who are extremely talented and gifted in their role, whether that's finance, accounting, or engineering, all of these people that I work brilliant and are really, really good at their job. But unfortunately, sometimes they get passed up for promotions or they may not be promoted as quickly as their performance would typically tend to indicate. Now, uh, there is a bit of a correlation between how they show up to work and what they look like when they are working or come into the office. And I've also seen where these people have been given feedback basically just changed their appearance at work, whether it's what they're wearing or how they do their hair or if they shave or things like that. And I've seen them actually get promoted quite quickly. And of course, I've seen the opposite be true where I have been working with some people who I would say are less than qualified or talented in their technical capabilities in the job, but have been given really good performance ratings and have been promoted extremely quickly, typically due to their physical appearance.
So what can you basically do about this? Well, after watching this video, you now know that all of this stuff is real and that your appearance does actually matter at work. Now, I'm not saying you need to go out and get plastic surgery and do anything crazy like that, but I am saying that you need to be cognizant about how you show up at work. Maybe you should take the time to do your hair in the morning or put on a little bit of makeup or shave your face and just make sure you're wearing well-fitted clothes so you actually come across as confident and intelligent. Perception, quite honestly, is everything when it comes to marketing and branding yourself at work. Now, I'm also aware that due to the increase of remote work and working from home, there has been an overall lack in people's care about their physical appearance when they show up for Zoom meetings and things like that. So even though you are working remotely or working from home, make sure that you are aware that your appearance and even the background in your videos do play a role. All right, I hope you found this video to be helpful. Drop a comment below for what other video topics or ideas you want us to cover or what questions you want us to answer. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.